Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. We are going to be talking about uh, Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 through 15. And as we read this, you're going to have a mental picture come into your mind of one of those old pictures of Jesus. I don't know, it's probably painted in the 60s or the 70s of Jesus surrounded by little children, little children playing around him, little children sitting on his lap. And I think this passage right here is what that picture is dis displaying for us. So it says in verse 13, then children were brought to him that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked the people. But Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for to such belong the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and went away. So we have this picture of parents bringing their kids to Jesus. They just want Jesus to touch their head, pray for them, bless them. But the disciples are like, no way, get these kids back. Jesus is way too important for this. He's got more important things to do. So they're, they're telling the parents, take these kids away. But Jesus stops them and he says, you know what? Let the kids come to me because the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. So what do we learn here from this passage? We need to prioritize our children and the children of our church getting to know Jesus bringing them to Jesus. So for parents and grandparents, let me encourage you a couple of things. One, talk with your kids and your grandkids about God. Spend time almost daily finding ways that you can connect life and your kid's life to God and to Jesus. Talk with them about God. The other thing is prioritize bringing them some place where they're going to hear about God. Prioritize bringing them to church on Sundays. Prioritize getting them to youth group on Wednesdays or Thursday nights because what they're going to get is the blessing of having another group of people that are telling them the same thing about God that you're telling them. And it will reinforce that faith and it will give them this opportunity to form relationships around knowing God and knowing Jesus. The next thing that we can do as a church when we read these verses to prioritize kids coming to know Jesus is that we would pray for our ministries that are involved with reaching kids. Can I encourage you to pray for the Calvary Kids Ministry and pray for Juliana and the rest of her team that are leading that ministry? Let me encourage you to pray for Pastor Sean and pray for the youth ministry and all of the people that are involved there serving and reaching the kids and youth with the gospel. And finally, I'm going to challenge you. Think about serving in one of these ministries. We definitely need people who love Jesus and love kids and, of course, can pass that background check. We need people like that coming into Calvary and sharing the good news of all that Jesus has done for them and all that we learn about him in the Bible. So let me encourage you, if you're interested in joining that team, contact Juliana, contact Pastor Sean, or contact the church office and just let them know, hey, we're interested in helping out with our kids' ministry, whether that's with the littlest ones or the ones that are just about to graduate high school. Your help and your ministry is needed. Hey, I hope that this blesses you, and um, you have a wonderful day, Calvary.